Good afternoon and welcome to our business chat segment. My name is Abi Agina and today we'll be discussing more about the 4G network. With us in studio is Tibo from Safaricom, the chief technical officer in Safaricom. But before that, let's take a look at what's been making headlines in the business front. Integrated financial services provider Centum is seeking a controlling stake in Anmasi Beverages Limited. Centum plans to spend an estimated 100 million shillings in acquisition of an additional 3% shareholding in Anmasi and increase its stake to 50.95%. Almasi is a holding company of three Coca-Cola bottling companies, including Mount Kenya, Rift Valley and Kisi Bottlers. The firm has the second largest share of the Coca-Cola bottling business in the country. Centum said the intended acquisition is in line with its strategic objective of expanding its, its presence in the fast-moving consumer goods sector. In a note to investors, Old Mutual Research said the investment will be vital in helping Centum deliver on its strategic theme of generating 35% annualized return between next year and 2019. Moving on, business at the Kenya Meat Commission came to a halt for the better part of yesterday when over 200 workers laid down their tools to protest months of unpaid wages. The workers claim management owes them over 124 million shillings in unpaid arrears dating as far back as three years ago. This and more in our business briefs by Joy Dorin Bira. Kenyans are being forewarned that buying some of the counterfeit low-quality electricity cables currently being sold in the country could lead to major factory and home accidents. The country has witnessed an increase in counterfeits sourced mainly from the East, whose quality the Kenya Bureau of Standards says is wanting. Mix copper with other metal things. You know they have so many gadgets in uh, China. So uh, you'll find that... Uh, the quality is not good because they are looking for money. The Information and Technology Ministry has partnered with global technology giant Huawei Technologies Kenya to launch an internship program dubbed Huawei Seeds for the Future that will see students from chosen universities sent to its China headquarters to learn technological skills and return to implement skills acquired back home. Activity at Kenya Med Commission came to a standstill after more than 200 workers downed their tools to protest months of unpaid wages. The workers claim management owes them over 124 million shillings in unpaid arrears, some of which date back to three years ago. The workers have vowed not to report to work until they're paid. This strike comes two months after Agriculture Cabinet Secretary Felix Koske announced that the giant meat processor had received 700 million shillings to revamp it and pay off workers as well as suppliers' dates. <laughs> Joy Dorin Bira, KTN Business.